the negative scenarios folder. So now let's discuss how to declare and use the environment variables. So I will go to the post request that is a create booking. So here we are passing the first name as a testers and last name as a top. So I will pass this first name from the environment variables. So what I will do simply I will go on the right side top corner then I will click on this particular icon. So then I will say add here we can specify the environment name. So here I am giving a booking API. So that's it. Then here you can specify the variable name and the respective value you can specify it on the initial value column. So here I am specifying the F name that is nothing but first name. Then I will specify the value as a testers. That's it. So let's use this particular variable in the create booking API and we'll get the value from the environment variable. Then we'll create the booking, right? So we have created the variable and we have specified the value. Now let's see how to use that particular variable in the in your API requests. So here I'm selecting this particular string, then I'm entering two curly braces. And inside this, you need to specify the variable name. So in our case, we have given the variable name as f name. That is nothing but first name. So simply, I'll save this particular environment details. Then I'll close it. So make sure that after adding the environment variables, so you are selecting the this particular environment name over here. So if you are selecting the environment details, that is nothing but the environment which you have created, where you have specified the all the variables and respective values. So after selecting this particular environment only, you should you will be able to read the respective value by using the variable. So this is how you can read the value from the environment details, right? So I have specified the variable name and I have selected the environment here, so that I will get the this particular f name as a testers in this particular first name so that I can create my resource in the server. So let's start creating the resource in the server. If you look at this one, so we got the 200, 200 status code and also booking ID got created here. And if I can check this particular booking ID by using the get booking details. So we got the response successfully, right? So if you look at this status code, we got the 200. And also first name, we got the testers, right? So this is how you can set the variable value and you can read that particular variable in the API request. So let's add the last name also. So I will go to the environment variable and here I'll add the. So before I go ahead and add it, so you need to click on this edit so that you can include as many as variables you want. So here I'm adding another variable as L name. So here I'm adding the last name as top. So that's it. You can save it. And let's go to the create booking API. So similarly, I'll enter the two curly curly braces. And inside that, I can specify the L name. So that that particular value will be read from the environment variables. So that's it. So this is how you can read the value from the environment variables. So let's create the resource in the server. So this got successfully created. Let's verify the details going to the get booking details. So here you go. So we got the 200 uh, status code and also first name is a testers and the last name is a top. So this is working fine. So this is how we can automate. This is how we can parameterize. You can specify the, you can create the variable and you can specify the value and you can read that particular variable wherever you 